Welcome to this tech tip on creating a curved spring with Autodesk Inventor. My name is Rusty Belcher and I'll be working through this tech tip with you today. I've opened up Autodesk Inventor and I'm ready to create the first sketch in my curved spring. I'm going to start off with a long thin rectangle. I'm going to use a geometric constraint to make sure that the top horizontal edge of the rectangle is concentric with the center point of my file. I'll add a dimension here which is going to be the length of the flat spring and at one end of the rectangle I'm going to draw a circle which is going to represent the wire for the spring. I'll go ahead and add the dimensions for that. Now that the sketch is done, I'm going to go ahead and create the coil feature for the spring. On the model ribbon, I'm going to use the coil command. I'll select the circular area for the profile and the top of the rectangle for the axis. Now for this particular example, I'm going to adjust the coil size to revolution and height. For the height, I'm just going to go ahead and measure the top line of the rectangle. And for this example, I want 30 revolutions in 5 inches. We'll click OK and there we have the first coil for our spring. Now to curve the spring I'm going to add another feature. To do that over in the browser I'm going to share the sketch we used to create the coil. I'm then going to extrude that rectangular area symmetrically and I want to make sure that the length of the part stays inside of our coil. Now I'm going to turn the visibility off of our shared sketch and I'm going to create another sketch. We're going to end up using the bend command in order to create the curved spring. And to do that I need a bend line. I'm going to start a sketch and I'll select the top face of that interior feature. I'm going to look at the top view of this. Now when you create the bend line there is a very easy mistake or uh, pitfall that you can fall into. Uh, the temptation is to draw the line right through the middle of the uh, sketch, right through our center point. Now if I look at this carefully, you can actually see that the line does not pierce any of the coil feature. Now let me show you what happens if we leave the sketch there. If I start the bend command and I select the line, only the interior feature will be bent and that's not what I want. Now I'm going to cancel out of that and I'm going to go back into my sketch and I want to make sure that the bend line passes right through one of the coils. As you can see at the top here the bend line goes right through one of the coil features. Now when I go out and use the bend command I can select the bend line and the coil will bend as we anticipate. Now I'm going to adjust the settings for this particular spring. For this example I want a radius of 3 inches and I want my bend line to represent the center of the bend so that it bends symmetrically about the bend line. Now that the preview is correct, I'll click OK to create the curved spring. Now the next thing I want to do is remove the interior feature and that's easily done. We'll create a simple sketch on the flat face and then we'll extrude this profile cutting to next. Here you can see our finished curved spring which was the goal of the overall tech tip. Now before I finish the tech tip, I do want to address a question that a lot of people will have. Can you curve a tapered spring? Well, you absolutely can. If I go back to my coil feature, I can edit the feature, and I can add the taper angle to the original coil. Now for this example, I'll use 5 degrees. Here you can see the curved tapered spring. Another question that some users may have is, is it possible to animate the curved spring? 
I'll finish off this tech tip by playing you a video of an animation of the spring curving. And to do this, I simply animated the parameter that controlled the radius of the bend.